Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to rebuild a Logic project in Logic Pro 9. Uh, the reason why you'd want to do this, uh, number one, is if you run into a Logic project file that uh, won't load, it's corrupted. Uh, and secondly, the other reason for it would be if you're trying to remix or remaster a project, rather than opening up the project file and working from there, you can just import certain things, just certain parameters from the original session, like maybe you just want the regions or you just want the plugins or maybe you want the regions and the plugins but you don't want the automation or you don't want the IO settings. Um, so uh, here's the session we're going to use um, but I can't open that. I have what I'm going to uh, go to is I have a blank logic project here. I'm going to go to my media section and under browser I need to go find that uh, project on my computer. Right now I'm in my logic uh, project folder I want to go find this, and I, it's on the desktop. I just happen to know it's there, so I'm going to go under my name, go under desktop, and there it is. There's the session. Double-click on that, click on the project file, and then we're going to hit import. Now, what we're going to see here is a list of uh, all of the parameters that we can choose to import into our blank session here. So uh, we have track numbers, the track names. The ones that at the top that don't have numbers next to them are global tracks, like your uh, markers, your key signatures, uh, and your tempo or time signature and tempo. Um, at the bottom, the ones that don't have numbers are auxiliary tracks, like my submixes and my uh, uh, verb tracks. Uh, the content are the actual regions. Do I want to import the regions on those tracks? Uh, the plugins are do you want to import the plugins on those tracks? The sends, uh, the IO settings, the input and the output and any automation. So let's hypothetically say that I want to import the content, the plugins, and the automation, but not the IO and not the sends for this project. Well, what you can do is you can click on each individual checkbox to select that item, but if we just hit Command A to select all, it'll select everything, and uh, if you check off one checkbox in a column, it checks off all of them. And we'll do the same here for the plugins and the same here for the automation. There's only three tracks with automation. I don't want the sends and I don't want the IO. Now, you have to be sure to check what you want right at uh, all at the same time. You can't import the content, then import the plugins because what it'll do is it'll create a bunch of uh, tracks with the content on it, the regions on it. And then if you import the plugins separately, it'll make an additional set of tracks with those plugins on them, but not the regions. So you have to make sure you do it all uh, here at the same time. And by the way, you can filter out any of the things that you don't want to see up here. These are the filter buttons. They filter out uh, any of the parameters you don't want to see. But I've got to do this again since I filtered out some of these. It unchecked them. There we go. So content, plugins, and automation. Now you do is you hit add. It'll load it there. Minimize my media section, hit Z to see everything. So there's all of the regions, all of the tracks it imported. Uh, I should be able to go check my mix window. And sure enough, all of the plugins are there. If I wouldn't have chose plugins, uh, these just would have been blank. There would have been no uh, inserts on them. Um, notice that there's nothing in any of the sends. And all of my uh, IOs are, uh, the inputs are all the same. However, it did save... Uh, since I do have auxiliary tracks, it did save a few of the, looks like it saved a couple of the buses and the output, but it didn't save the uh, uh, the inputs, uh, individual inputs. So it's either input one for mono tracks or input one and two for stereo. Actually, all of the regular tracks all say input one except for the softer instrument tracks. So anyway, so that's that. Let's check our automation. I'm going to hit A so we can see that. And sure enough, it did import our automation on our three tracks that had automation. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to rebuild projects. Again, used uh, mostly to uh, rebuild a corrupted project uh, rather than having to go back and drag every single file back into the project one by one. Uh, or if you're trying to remaster or remix uh, a project. Uh, so I hope this uh, tutorial helped. Uh, please visit my sponsors. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.